So D, thank you for being here on the All Bets Rock podcast for the very first time. I truly appreciate it. Glad to be here. Um, and me and my skulls are happy to be anywhere these, these days. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, man, Leave a Scar um, is such a badass record. And I've listened to it top to bottom multiple times already. And you don't skip a track. This, this is a heavy, heavy record. I love it. That is, you know, there are dreams, there are, there are goals. And I'm hearing that a lot. I heard that with the love of metal too, that uh, you, you put it on, you go, oh, check it out. And next thing you know, the album's over and you just listen to 12 tracks. And it just, and it, it you know, Part of it is because we don't let you find a place where you can actually stop the thing. It just, it just goes. I can say it's a beating about the head and face for 11 songs finished with me quietly speaking to you yeah. in a ballad at the end on the stand. Um, but that's, you know, I'm hearing that from so many people. And that's, that used to be my favorite records. Like I'm a great, I'm a huge Black Sabbath fan, but some of my favorite Sabbath albums it was LPs. I'd be lifting the needle, you know, like you, know, you put on and I like put on. Next try. You know, so so I, I look for those albums that were like, hey, just put it. You didn't have to skip one track. Yeah. And, you know, that's honest to God how I felt the whole time. And every time the next song would start, I'm going holy shit, it's better than the last song. Holy shit, it's better than the last song. And I did that all the way through to the very end. And like, I got to tell you, like you, you are one of like the last true rock stars. Like you just, you get it and you're in it and you've always been in it. And it's just that attitude and it just shows through on this record. It's, it's incredible. Thank you. You know, people think I take things, statements like that for granted. Um, I don't, I don't. Because, you know, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I did have my fall from grace uh, in the 90s. And there was a time where, you know, I didn't I didn't think that, um, you know, I did Twisted Sister came out and whatever. And but I didn't think I'd find my place or my voice and or that I even had a place, uh, you know, in 95 uh, after Widowmaker. I kind of felt like I overstayed my welcome and it was my time to get out, you know, move, get out of the way. It wasn't until Jamie Josta. Uh, challenged me on his podcast uh, and said, I challenge you to make a new a contemporary metal record. And I said, I'd love to, man, but I don't know where I fit in. And Jamie said, I know exactly where you fit in. And he showed me.